Since childhood, um, I've had experiences in which the separation between the self and the world dissolves. And when I was little, I thought everyone was like that. But as I grew older, I learned not to talk about it. And gradually I turned away from it. I had no conceptual context then for the experience of nature itself as sacred and full of meaning of the spirit as imminent in the world. Sometimes I think of myself as a nana, come back from the underworld. But losing everything and then returning to life brought me a great gift, an extraordinary experience of joy in the physical world. The sensual is what brought me home. In the end, my life, my poems are about joy, joy in the body, the natural world, recognizing that my body and the earth's body are one, that all of it is singing. In journeying west, the women leave behind everything, and only when they are empty can they cross the mountains and bring themselves down to the sea because I know from my own experience that what you come to through the death of the self is a place where the light pours in. <laughs>